Bonjour, Mary. Um, today I auditioned for a play. It was an interesting experience. I wasn't super proud of what I did, but I wasn't like embarrassed either, so that's a good sign. Um, yeah, so it, it was an interesting experience because I'm not prepared for auditions like most theater students would be. Um, they asked for a resume and a headshot, and my headshot was taken this morning on my computer um, and printed on printer paper in black and white. So not very good quality, but hopefully my audition spoke enough for itself, and I mean, I the callback list is supposed to come out tonight, so I will know today if I did or did not get at least a callback. Um, so that should be interesting. So today I will perform for you the monologue which I prepared for the audition. Um, now bear in mind that this is kind of a small space and I did do some blocking um, but I'm, I'm not really able to do all my blocking and stay in frame so I'm gonna kinda cut that out um, so I'll probably be rocking back and forth a lot I don't think I did it very much during the audition so I'm proud of myself for that but yeah um, so yeah here it is so this is from A Woman of No Importance by Oscar Wilde The Ideal Man Oh, the ideal man should talk to us as if we're goddesses and treat us like children. He should encourage us to have caprices and forbid us to have missions. He should refuse our every serious request and gratify our every whim. He should always say much more than he means and always mean much more than he says. He should not run down other pretty women. That would show he had no taste or, or make one suspect that he had too much. No, he should be nice about them all but say that somehow they don't attract him. He should invariably praise us for all the qualities he knows we haven't got and be pitiless, quite pitiless, in reproaching us for all the virtues we never dreamed of possessing. He should never assume we know the use of useful things. That would be unforgivable. But he should shower us in everything we don't want. He should persistently compromise us in public and treat us with the absolute respect when we're alone. And yet, always be ready to have a perfectly terrible scene whenever we want one and to become miserable, absolutely miserable, at a moment's notice and to overwhelm us with just reproaches in 20 minutes and to be positively violent at the end of a half an hour and to leave us forever at a quarter to eight when we have to dress for dinner. And when he has parted from us for really the last time and he has promised to never communicate with one again or to take back any of the little things he has given one or to write one any foolish little letters and dines alone at the club so that everyone shall know how miserable he is. And after a dreadful week of this, after which one has gone about everywhere with one one's husband just to show how terribly lonely one was, he should be admit, allowed to admit that he was entirely wrong. And when he has admitted this, it is a woman's duty to forgive him. And my screen just turned off. <laughs> it is a woman's duty to forgive him, and after which one can do it all again from the beginning. With variations. Thank you. I actually did a lot better at the audition, I think, so that's good. Um, I can't remember your question from... No, the last question you asked was um, about what I could do to make me a better me. And I think it's to not get annoyed with people as much. People do a lot of little things that bother me that really shouldn't. Um, and so I'm working on just accepting people for who they are rather than who I want them to be. Um, yeah, so au revoir, sister.